Canadian Chemical Product Labels, Triple CR versus Wimiz. Welcome to this installment of NextReg on Compliance. My name is Mike Moffat. I'm the Director of Communications here at NextReg. Often some of our clients are confused by the fact that in Canada there are two different sets of labeling regulations for chemical products. There's the Triple CR and then there's Wimiz. So the question often comes up, well, in, in this particular case, am I supposed to use triple CR? Am I supposed to use WMIS? Do I use both? Do I use neither? What are my options? So for this video, what we'll do is we'll discuss some of the options companies have uh, to use in certain situations. So the first situation is where you have a, a product that's cons strictly consumer in nature. So this is a, a cleaning product or, or something that really only consumers would be buying. Well, that would fall under the Triple CR 2001 guidelines. So, I have an example of what a label in Canada would look like under these guidelines. So, we have uh, this Wyman Etronics wipe. You'll see here there's a symbol, uh, some, some text, and statement danger. And on the back, there's a back panel uh, which contains first aid information and other, um, other helpful pieces of information, such as contents may catch fire. So this is what a triple uh, CR label looks like in Canada, and again, it's for consumer products. Whereas we have a second labeling standard that are strictly for industrial or institutional products called WMIS. So here's the example of a WMIS label, and it looks a bit uh, a bit different. So we have this hatched border here, we have a, a symbol, and text in both English and French. So in the WMIS label, it's all sort of self. All the information is self-contained on this panel. Whereas in the triple CR, some of it was on the front of the label, some of it was in the back, there were different symbols, different texts, so they're a fair bit different because they serve uh, different needs, because different types of people are using the products. So this is our consumer only situation, our industrial only situation. But one thing you have to ask yourself in the industrial case is, is our product actually industrial only? It may be that it's not. Because under the triple CR, if your product, if a consumer can access your product, a uh, store, or website, or that kind of thing, it falls under the triple CR guidelines. So we're running into a number of situations here in Canada where companies believe that they have a consumer-only product, or I mean an industrial-only product, but they're, it's being sold in a place such as a plumbing supply store. And if that store does not have any way to sort of keep consumers out to ensure that it's only industrial and institutional users who are using that store and purchasing products from there, then it would be considered a consumer product and would have to be labeled for the triple CR. So you're going to need to make sure that if you do have an industrial uh, product that there is no potential consumer access to that product. Now one thing, uh, companies often want to do in this case is say, well, why can't we just write in our label the claim something like for industrial use only? Well, the regulations are very, very clear on this point that um, writing for industrial use only on your label does not absolve you from your triple CR 2001 responsibilities. So that, write a big X there, that is not an option. So what are your options? Well, if you do have one of these products that's, that's neither fish nor fowl, it's neither consumer nor industrial, it's kind of a hybrid of both, an obvious thing to do would be to label your product for both triple CR and WMIS. But we saw that, you know, the triple CR, we have the symbol and the text on the back, WMIS, we have that panel. That's only going to work if you have a product that comes in a large container. So if something's coming in a 50 liter or 20 gallon container, that might work. If you have a product in a smaller container, that may or may not be an option. But if you can do it, it's one way of getting around, or it's one way of satisfying both of these. Another option is simply to do two product versions. So you have your product for consumer use, your product for industrial use. It's not particularly a popular option, uh, just because you know that's two different products now instead of one that you have to keep track of, two different SKUs, you have to make sure that the consumer pro the, the uh, industrial product isn't winding up in consumer markets. So it's, it's just a bit of a headache, but it is something that you can do. 
a preferred option uh, that a few of our clients have come up with, and it's, it's something I really like, it's the idea of a peel label. So the idea is one of those labels that uh, there's an outer label and you can peel it off and there's a label inside. So what you can do is you label the outer label based on the triple CR. Then you write a statement on that label saying for the industrial label, peel label. And then once you peel it, it's the same type of product label, but now it's under the WIMIS standard. So that's one um, unique way of, of dealing with this industrial consumer issue. Another way you can deal with this issue is if you have a product that's largely consumer in nature, that you know, 90, 95, 99% consumer, but it's sold in one of the big box stores and it could be uh, bought by contractors or things like that, they make, you know, they're likely still going to want WIMIS labels. Um, so there, there are some ways around this though. At the bare minimum, what you need to do is label your product for triple CR, have a WIMIS MSDS available. That will satisfy some of the users, but they'll still probably want a WIMIS panel or WIMIS label. So what you can do is provide a stick on WIMIS label. So you can provide this either as a sticker that, that comes with your container and just give them instructions to stick this on the container themselves, or you can have a PDF of that WIMIS label that you provide to industrial users. And you could post this on your website, you could give it to them over email. So it gives them the option of labeling their product by the WIMIS standard for their, um, for their workers. So here are some of the options that companies have. But again, I really want to stress this point. You need to find out if you believe your product is industrial nature, if it really is, and if any consumers have access to this. Because you don't want to deal with um, you don't want to deal with a Health Canada audit or a situation where you're labeling under the wrong standard. So I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please send them my way to info, I-N-F-O, at nextreg.com. Take care. This presentation and all the information contained herein is not intended to replace or be used in place of the judgment of a qualified regulatory compliance professional. The opinions expressed are those of NextReg compliance at the time the presentation was recorded. Regulations and interpretations of regulations can change rapidly, so please consult a qualified regulatory compliance professional before starting any project. This presentation is presented for educational purposes and is therefore supplementary and not to be considered exhaustive. NextReg Compliance, its officers, directors and employees hereby disclaim any and all responsibility for any loss, injury, damage or expense directly or indirectly arising out of or relating to use or reliance on this presentation or the material contained in this presentation.